Hello everyone. So from this video onwards, we are going to look at a new topic, a new data structure, arrays. All right. So first of all, let's talk about definition. So array basically means it is a collection of same data type, data types stored at contiguous memory locations. All right. So array is basically a container which shows data of same types, either int or char or anything, right? And it shows at contiguous memory locations. All right. Now, suppose, see, this is an example of array. It contains five elements of same data type int, all right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, these all are integer data type. And they are stored in our array, okay? Now let's talk about contiguous. What do we mean by contiguous memory locations? All right. So see, this is our array, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And suppose address of this array is X, right? So first element would be at X. And suppose size of elements is Y. Okay, for char it is one byte, for integer the default uh, size is four bytes, right? So that is our y. So if array is stored at position x, okay, so if array is stored at position x, like here, the next element would be stored at x plus y. And similarly, next element would be stored at x plus 2y. And this goes on. Suppose there is one more element like 60, it would the size would have been x plus 5. Alright. For example, suppose x is 1000 here. Right. And y would be what? 4 for integer. Alright. So 10 would be stored at what? 1000. 20 would be stored at location of 1004, similarly 1008, that is going to be 1012 and this is going to be 1016. So this is how the elements are stored. Alright. Now the big question here arrives is that why? Why is the need of arrays? Right? Why cannot we just create, you know, five variables? So let me tell you, it would be a very complex code. All right. First you have to declare five variables, then you have to take the input and so on. And it is not just five variables. You can have hundred, thousand. Okay, let's take a real life example. Suppose we have an array with the name of friends of your Instagram account or followers of Instagram account. So it may be 100, it may be 1000, it may be 2000, right? So declaring 100 variables, 1000 variables, it is, you know, very complex code and not efficient, right? So that's why we need a container type data structure arrays. There are many other data structures which, you know, store uh, data of same types like linked list, stack, but that will come later in this series, okay? Now, let's talk about type of arrays, okay? So, in, in general or not in general exactly, but see there can be like hundred of ways to differentiate the arrays, right? So here I choose uh, types of arrays differentiated factor as size. Okay. So there will be two types. One is fixed size arrays and second is dynamic sized arrays. All right. 
So fixed size arrays means that they don't allow any other items than current size, which they are declared, right? Suppose here fixed size array is declared, okay, then is int air 100, right? So that means the size of this container is 100, like it can at most store 100 elements, right? If you want to add 101 element, this will give you an error, right? Same goes for this int air n, all right? Now, n here is, you know, user input, all right? Now, another way of writing this code is this term, int star air is new int n. All right, so let me tell you about this thing. This is stack located. Okay, I cannot place it properly, but you can see that this stack allocated. Both of these are stack allocated. So, okay, I put it in the middle, and both of these are stack allocated. And this is heap allocated. All right. So these are basically the type how they are stored. Okay, so in simple language, what I can say is that if you have this term, if you declare array like this, you have to have the value of n. All right, so what you are going to do, you are going to declare a variable and then you are going to um, have the user define the variable first and then you can write this syntax. Otherwise, it will give up, you know, error. But in this case, you can simply write this before or even after the user uh, input the variable. All right, so this is more better as we as if we use you know arrays in functions all right now let's talk about the second type which is dynamic sized arrays so dynamic size arrays are they you know automatically uh, resize them when we add more items okay dynamic arrays are which resize them automatically so in c plus plus the we use vectors for it. Okay. Vectors are basically arrays. Okay, but here if the size automatically increases or decreases as we insert or delete an element from it. Okay. So I hope that is clear to you. And in other languages such as Java we use array list in for dynamic arrays and in python we use list okay so this was just an intro video of arrays to help you get familiarized with what are arrays and what are its different types so in next video we are going to see the operations on vectors because uh, i'm guessing like vectors would be something new to you but you must have studied arrays in basics of C++. So we'll talk about uh, vectors in our next video. It is going to be quite interesting, right? So I'm going to end this lecture today and see you next time.